Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. I have got two new toys. Toy Defender 110 trucks in 1 to 28. They are kind of awesome, but if you ask yourself now, why does this guy buy two of those tiny toy trucks? I have to admit, okay, it was a mistake because those SG 2801 were announced as 1 to 28th defenders and I thought I do have the 1801 or oh, the scale is for sure incorrect and I will get super nice defender bodies for other models. They are so super cheap, they are totally bang for the buck. So I ordered both colors to use one maybe in another truck, but I was wrong. The scale is not wrong. That's a Defender 110 and length is about 16 centimeters. So 1 to 28 is correct. I calculated it. It should be even more 1 to 29th point seven or whatever. So those are really tiny trucks, tiny Defenders. Compare it to the, compare it to the Orlando 1 to 32 Defender or for the Mini C 4x4, 1 to 24th, they are significantly larger and they announced it correctly. All of you want to see, compare it to a, compare it to an SCX 24, significantly larger truck. So I was wrong and okay, one would have been enough. However, those tiny trucks are awesome in their way. They are toys, but they look awesome okay large tires but the body is awesome check it out the body is metal so like a die cast truck <laughs> and check this out can open doors and hood there's even a motor inside check this out and there's a detailed interior inside front and for passengers so <laughs> quite awesome for such a tiny little truck and as you've seen from the pictures you get a lot of accessories you get this luggage roof rack with boxes and cherry cans made out of plastic simply a clip on but you don't have to use this and you get sand letters you can clip on and the letter for the rear side and some stickers you don't get a lot more you get a simple usb charger for the 2s lipo the 2s 300 milliamp hours lipo that comes with this truck and this lipo does come with a jst xh balance plug for power and for charging i love this system i ask myself why not many more companies of tiny models do this so horizon hobby with the umx system but that's only two millimeters started with this years ago and check this out the same battery and you save one wire and in small models where the power wire is the same gorge as the balance wire there is no need for a separate power plug i really do love this system i know some of you will tell now okay you can't charge those batteries with normal chargers you need adapters that's of course correct but there are a ton of adapters available where you can charge those small batteries only by the three pin jst ph plug or by the jst xh power plug and i really love it i do my own batteries cut the power wires and use the balance wire and make a JST PH plug and honestly how would you be able to charge a 
a CX24 battery or an FMS or raw copy battery without adapter. You need an adapter for those two to charge them with a normal charger. So I love it. Big plus for me. This system and it saves a lot of room in micro trucks and you don't have a bulky wire more. Super nice. But I won't use the luggage rack. It's already super heavy and I think that's too much. But for kids to play probably quite nice. The trucks come trucks come nicely packed in box sturdy box banggood proof and for an absolutely awesome price the manual is surprisingly good it's really really good check the manual out it's english and chinese but after the normal instructions and it's really of good quality there's exploded view of the car check this out beadlock wheels i will disassemble the truck later and exploded view of all parts oh. so really super super nice for a few bucks the radio is super simple tiny two AA batteries you have to open it by pressing here and there's only steering trim steering dual rate and there's a button for brake on off so you can switch between normal mode with brake and crawler mode there is no trim for throttle and the battery goes inside on the rear part There's also a on off switch here. So let's switch it on. And you see it does even have lights, rear lights, rear driving lights, turning lights left and right. And in front too, turning lights and headlights. There should be some fog lights instructions say, but they don't work in my truck. I guess that's a mistake in the description. I will disassemble that truck later. Let's see if there are even lights inside. And what you can do, you see now I'm on brake mode. I can't go directly from forward to reverse. And if I push this button, I can go directly from forward to reverse. But this tiny truck is not a real crawler. You see it's quite loud, noisy. Can go slow, but not super slow. But I didn't expect super sophisticated electronics i'm surprised about this awesome metal body i hope i told you that's metal and about the awesome price and it's a you can climb it's like a toy truck awesome for your kids probably and maybe if you want to play around with the electronics but it's for sure no crawler and the reason for this is it's super heavy, even without luggage. And it will tip over immediately. I can show you this here. So it will tip over. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, 
32 degrees, so no crawl at all. Simply a nice toy truck with absolutely awesome body. It doesn't look super scale because of the huge tires and it's so high. However, check the price, it's that cheap. Kind of cute and check a super huge motor. I will take the body off now and let's check what's inside. So here we go. This truck does not have a ladder frame, so it's rather difficult to be disassembled. More or less the inner fenders are the frame and here's the body. metal body, roof is made out of plastic like a die cast model dashboard quite awesome for such a tiny truck it's really like a die cast model seats super scale and here's the frame, electronic sits in the rear and check this motor, that's a 50 motor, that's the same size as the Barrage motor or Rocco Picatana Atlas CR18s to have with a gearbox in front, huge motor and what's super nice what you can see here, it's a three wire servo so no five wire servo that's mounted here central gearbox didn't disassemble it of course drive shafts are made out of plastic axle housings are made out of plastic but links plastic too but quite nice ball screws shocks also mounted by two ball screws, quite nice. Of course, friction shocks, not oil filled, but not that bad for a truck of this price. Hobby Plus CR18's Katana don't have better shocks, and those seem even to be more sturdy. And what's interesting, there are really boards for the lights front and rear and what you can see here there are three LEDs so there should be a fog light this one main beam turning light fog light but unfortunately this does not seem to work so turning light works but fog light unfortunately does not work I can't see any it's a port so you can't really see what the problem is dog bone style steering but metal cups check this out of course bushings no ball bearings plastic bushings and the tires are mounted by huge screws huge nuts and on the axle there's it this seven millimeter hex mounted whole held by a pin with a kind of brake disc looks quite nice and check that out 
tiny beadlock rims, quite nice, but the tires are not super soft and sticky, they are quite hard. Those rims are smaller than, even smaller than, here you see the Hobby Plus, CR18, CR24, so both the ring that gets into the tires and the rims are a little bit smaller than the CR18, CR24 beadlock rims. And here are the axles. Quite nicely lubricated. Plastic gears, bushings, but quite sturdy axles. Your drive shaft. So like a real truck. Don't know if I should call this toy truck or if it's already hobby grade. It's kind of in between. So not much more to say. For this price <laughs> I really like it. But I don't know what to do now with two. I thought I will use one for a different chassis, but I don't have a chassis for such small crawlers. And I'd say thumbs up, of course, for this awesome price. Check it out. It's super, super cheap. And for that you get quite a lot. And it's a kid's toy. Maybe it's a toy for adults too. And I will see what I will do with the second one. I probably give it to a kid. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. I'll be back.